One, two, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of Earth, welcome, welcome, welcome to Randon's World. With me, whoop, me, Razor Randon. So glad you could make it. Uh, we're just here flattening out some Earth. Um, and um, yeah, we've been busy. Whoa, where did I go? That's the wrong button. There we go. And uh, we've been busy doing this uh, for a little while now because, you know what? I was so sick of the nether that I had to take a break. So um, we're just um, doing some work around our city. And uh, let me show you what we got. All right, here we go. So uh, I have to be a little bit careful because my wings, I just noticed, are running low. So if I fall from the sky, that's what's going on. But let's take little flight up and we'll see some of the stuff that we've been doing so we've been expanding the roads and uh, laying them out still might have some changes to make but um, we've been quite busy doing all of this and um, I'm pretty happy with it I think I might make a few changes like I'm not sure if these turns are too wide or, or too sloped we'll see I think I might have done it a little bit different over here um, with just a little small um, turn and I might change uh, a lot of them to that the problem is is that I did some of them straight early on and like that one there is straight these ones are straight I can't really move um, I guess I could move the lamp post to there It'll be right up against the building but anyways decisions you know we'll have to decide oh and uh, I've changed some of the street, added some bushes to some different spots. Um, again, work in progress, so, you know, so things can change. But uh, a little bit of color helps a lot. Some of them I'm not too sure about. I mean, I've added some trees here. Um, might be a little bit too much green going on here. And I'm not sure about the, the droopy bushes coming off of the building. Um, and the same for these droopy bushes, but um, they um, they do add to the builds. Um, so, yeah. Um, the other thing is I put in this building here. Uh, still a lot of work to do with this. It's essentially a copy of the red building on the corner there. A little bit smaller and uh, different colors. Um, one thing I'm a little concerned about is this is jungle wood. And uh, I didn't know this, but uh, it matches the city hall pretty good. And I probably could have used some of that in that build to texture. And maybe I will add some. But uh, I didn't really want um, anything to be the same as the city hall. Now, the one plus is it's a little bit far away, so we might get away with it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think the main street is looking pretty good so far. And uh, we've done some other things too. Um, we did a little detailing on this building. And um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Again, I might make some tweaks and some changes. But uh, we actually did an interior. We have our little patio here. Uh, this is supposed to be a closed umbrella. This is the opened umbrella. Um, little coffee shop kind of place where you can come and sit down and enjoy the patio or go inside and uh, stay warm and dry and um, we have a little counter here with our uh, espresso machines ready to go and we'll have to hook these up to, um, to some kind of brewing system we're gonna work on that um, soon a little fridge, a little toaster um, now this part here I've blocked off because I think I'm going to um, do some stuff with the, the brewers so we probably need that space and we don't want a villager to go there but our plan is to have a couple clerics here that can wander around come upstairs have their little bedroom set up here um, nothing too fancy and uh, they have a little living room as well and they can chill out and watch TV come look at the balcony I'll have to check if villagers can jump over this. Um, if they can, I can always put uh, a row of glass here or something so that they can't actually jump up. 
But um, yeah, that's that house. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it turned out pretty good. And again, there's still some little uh, tweaks to go, but a uh, nice little store. And uh, over here in the bee house, uh, we did a little work as well. And um, again, nothing too fancy. Little uh, waiting room. We have some barrels here. Um, again, we want to have a villager here, um, but not necessarily wandering around and being able to escape. We have some of the honey um, combs there. And uh, upstairs, we have a little kitchen, a uh, little apartment kind of deal. Uh, I don't think the villagers can jump over this, so we're okay. Um, yeah, not too much. Little bedroom. Creepy painting. Um, I guess there's no windows in here, but uh, that's okay. We'll maybe punch one out the back wall, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so far so good, I think. I'm uh, quite happy with it. Detailing isn't uh, necessarily my strength when I put it off normally so we even got a door there um so yeah let me know what you think um but uh we're gonna do some other things today um i'm probably gonna leave some of the road work for stream and uh do that there and then we'll start getting some buildings in some of these other spots but um oh before i uh, talk about that you can see here also I'm trying to change the elevation, which is kind of difficult, um, but we don't want an entirely flat city, so uh, this road here is going up as it goes, and uh, then it starts to go down again over there. These roads also go up, and um, we'll see. Like I said, nothing is uh, for sure here, but uh, I think it's coming along, but uh, let's go do something else, and I'll see you over there. Back in a sec. Hello? Hello? Optifine? Are you ready yet? You're not ready? Well, it's taking so long. I want to update the game. Okay, do your best. I know it's hard. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. So, yeah, I do. I haven't updated the game yet. Uh, I am waiting. I think I'm not going to wait any longer. After this video, I'm going to update. Uh, vanilla tweaks, which I use for the mob heads and uh, the wandering trader trades, mini blocks, uh, are already ready. But uh, Optifine, it takes a little bit longer, so they're still working on it. But uh, I have done some things. I have uh, pruned my world, so I put up my extra maps, and we'll take a look at what I, I've done. And um, this is our spawn here, and uh, we live... Uh, somewhere over here and um, I pruned trunk chunks but I didn't uh, just do the whole five minute thing because there was tons of places even within my base where I haven't spent five minutes and so I took a little bit more time and um, with the help of ping the net we went through and uh, upon his suggestion pruned along rivers so that no trees would uh, get cut in half because I've seen in some videos where after they've trimmed the world there's a tree and it's the leaves are cut in half so I left spawn um, and how did I do it I think I came across here somewhere um, where it's flat terrain so it's not going to affect trees and um, came across I uh, went through a river and some snow cut across this way up around I believe I came through this river here and then cut through this plain and um, went up over here because our stronghold is in this location and I left um, I do believe I left the the uh, Mesa there as well and then cut down and cut through here so a lot of this is going to be new, newly generated, um, but a lot of it's going to stay the same. But um, I think what we also have to do is um, maybe start some builds to get ready 
for uh, the update because we want to do some traveling when we we update the world. And so I think we're going to do that next. But um, yeah, we're not going to do it right here. No, we're going to go to a different location. All right, see you then. But first, Randon Thoughts with Razor Randon. Do you ever lay back, look up at the night sky, think to yourself, is there anything else out there? Do you ever look up and say to yourself, hello, is there anybody out there? And if there is, do the aliens like pineapple on pizza? Do you ever stare up and look at a star and, and think that? Yeah. Me neither. Well, all right, we're here. Um, gorgeous mountain in the background and our, our village. And uh, we're here by the portal and the frog house, which I never liked and I think I'm going to uh, change. And there's a little goat uh, sanctuary up there in the side of the mountain. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, incorporate the portal into a build and uh, have a build on top of this hill as well. So let's take a look and let me explain what I'm going to do. So we're going to um, reshape this little mountain a little bit, not a ton, but we want to bring it out probably so that the portal is kind of in the side of it. So we're going to have to drag this all out somewhere to here and try to make the shape uh, decent. Now it can be like just a little tunnel beside this and then the the goats might be underground which they kind of already are which is fine and then up here on top we're going to build uh, an observatory with a telescope and um, I'm going to use plots to to get the basic shape and uh, we're going to have to do detailing later and probably gather some quartz and all that fun stuff. But let's start with um, flattening out some of this. I'll probably take down two layers, maybe three, and then we'll try to reshape the, the mountain or the hill. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, I've got uh, plots pulled up on the side, and I think what I'm going to go with is a 27 diameter um, observatory. Now, have I thought this through? Not really. We'll see if I made a mistake. But um, before we start kind of laying that down, we're going to have to um, think about how we're going to incorporate the portal. Now, I think the best bet is if I grab some just some stone as a, a marker block. Oh, it's in my inventory. Okay, that makes it easier. Um, and we're going to kind of build a platform that um, connects into the mountain. Some parts of the hillside or the mountain will be kind of sticking out, but we'll be able to see some of this platform. And um, I'm wondering, I need it to be higher than, than the portal. So... I'm going to go like this, and then we want it higher, at least by one, and probably overhanging by at least one, so that the obsidian is kind of inset. So let's kind of get a center off of the portal, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So the center of the portal is right here, okay? And, um, again, I'm going to change that or get rid of it, or it'll just stick out a little bit. Well, we'll see. And this might be way too big, but uh, I don't really want to move the portal. We could make this platform kind of curve, but what we're probably going to end up doing is making the mountain bigger. Um, so let's see what we got here.
Well, all right, we're here, and uh, I, I tried to record some stuff. I didn't like how it came out uh, with me trying to build the frame, and so I just built the frame, and here we are. But uh, let's take a quick little look and um, see what we got. So it's quite a big platform, and um, that's okay. It's gonna. We're gonna build up the mountain around it a little bit. Like I said, I've been saving the snow blocks. Um, I probably could have built it back here, but we're not gonna move it. No, we're not moving it. We're keeping it here. And after I started doing this, I thought, oh, maybe I should have just built the the little dome observatory without the platform. But I kind of want to have um, some garden or something around it. And this isn't necessarily gonna stay like this. So. Part of the question is, do I move the the observatory this way, closer to this edge, and have like a lead-up garden? I think I'm going to just put it in the middle here, and then I can do something out there, like a, a garden out there with a... Well, oh, jerk! With uh, like a railing all the way around this. So um, I'm going to start doing that now. Um... Yeah, we'll start doing that now, and I'll pull up plots, and we'll see what we can do. And uh, it's going to be 29. So let me pull up plots, and uh, I'll start laying it out. All right, we'll see you then. <laughs> well, all right, we're here. We've uh, done a layer um, just in stone blocks. Um, I'm going to retexture all this after, I think. I'm just going to get the general shape down. So I've used plots to uh, mark out this circle. This is a... Uh, 29 diameter it's really cool uh, program you can um, you can look at each layer at a time as you build so it makes it quite a bit easier but um, I'm gonna keep doing this uh, up to the top and then I'll bring you in when we start to do the dome which I think I'm gonna use uh, quartz for and I'll probably put that in because I know that's gonna be quartz I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the bottom but uh, I'll see you in a little bit when I get to the top all right See you then. Well, I think we're done. Well, for now we're done. We um, we got it all put together. Um, still have to do the interior. But um, yeah, let's go take a look. It's uh, coming along quite nicely. Uh, might be a little bit big. Um, it depends on the angle you're at. But um, overall, I'm pretty happy. Uh, normally, I tend to make things... A little bit on the small side and um, then sometimes I regret it because I'm trying to squeeze things in but um, yeah I probably could have gone 25 instead of 29 or maybe even uh, 27 but um, that's okay you know we're looking up at the stars it's got to be big but um, last thing I got to do 
is um, deal with all the snow. And so what um, the plan is, I've already started on the one side, is to uh, put down pressure plates so that um, it'll do two things. Nothing will spawn here and the snow won't gather. So I'm going to do some of that. And, um, oops, that's the wrong thing. And, uh, yeah, it, it should be good. Now we still have to do an interior, obviously, and we'll make some kind of a telescope here if we can. But um, I'm overall, I'm pretty happy with how this went. And uh, let me know what you think. Um, unless you think it's too big and I should shrink it, then don't let me know. But um, yeah, I think uh, it's gonna be good. And um, we can always put stone pressure plates here, although we might use a different block there, so I'm not sure. But uh, we're trying to get stuff in every little nook and every little cranny. Um, those should probably be stone. Let's, oops, let's change those out. I'll have to put a block back there that I don't have right now. But um, yeah, we can take a look from different spots. And uh, like I said, I think it's pretty good. So um, for now, I think we're going to call it. Because um, I'm trying to keep the episodes a little shorter. And... Um, and... Um, We'll see how that goes. Uh, I still like around the 22 minute mark. So I think we're just a touch over that. But uh, overall from different spots in the in the world, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah. So again, thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for watching and hanging out. And um, yeah, I really, really appreciate it, and uh, we'll have to catch you next time, but um, for now, thanks for watching.